Good day, Divergence Traders. It's Jason here, and it is a Wednesday, I believe. Is it Wednesday? It's Wednesday, the 28th of February. Almost that favorite time of the, the month coming up there where you got to either pay your rent or, or your mortgage. Yeah, fun, fun. Especially people paying their mortgage right now. Oh, my God. This inflation is just made a mess of everything. Okay, so we're looking at the NASDAQ here. Very horrible day to trade the NASDAQ. In and out, in and out. Getting people to buy up here, then taking it back down. Getting people to sell down in here, and then taking it back up. Their usual shit. That's what they're doing. That's how they make money, and we can't make money because we want to sell it down here, hoping it's going to keep going, and we want to buy it up here, hope it's going to keep going up. And it does the opposite. Those fookers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, if we shrink it down, this is the five minute. <laughs> There was a trade from up here, but that's long before. That's like in the Asia session. What? Still was a trade, I guess. Got to find them where you can. <laughs> you got to find them where they're sitting. See, and then we came down. We had a low and a lower low and a lower low. But guess what? It came down too far too fast. It made this valley too deep. So there's no divergence down here to buy it up here. Nothing. And then we had some divergence here. High and higher high, right? And where did it go? Didn't fucking go anywhere. Didn't go anywhere important. So, if we got in here, it went down 20 pips, <laughs> or points, <laughs> before it went back up here. And get the stops, because everybody who's selling in here, right? Everybody was selling, hoping we are going to go right back to the lows of the UK session. Where was their stop? It was right up here. And that's why they spiked the price up. To get your stop. The bastards. And over here, what do we have here? Is there a divergence here? No, not really. Well, you could kind of tweak it and trick it. Triple top. Yeah, I guess there is divergence there. I did sell today. Like right in here, right where it is now. And got out right right here at this blue line. That's that's the trade I did. But then of course I went and done another one on a on a lower time frame and gave 80% of what I made back. Yeah. You know the feeling. Oh yeah, we all know the feeling. And where is it going now? Are we going to go up here finally? You know, from this double bottom? Are we going to go up here? I don't know. Fuck the final. But anyway, here's your like triple bottom right there at the bottom. Right? And it's uh, right off of here. So our short was on the opening of this candle. Or I mean our long. Long trade, not short. Sorry. See? It was right here. Your stop should be at the swing low. 29 pips. So if you got in there and you're in it now, well, you're in it to win it hopefully and uh yeah that's that's this trade okay let's move on now is enough of that shit or shit oh look at this what do we have here this is the s and the p um we have a low and lower low two wicks and right here to right here see there's the divergence and there's your entry somewhere in here. 
And it's went up about eight and a half points so far. This is the, this is the S and the P. There's no trade here, the low and lower low, because this valley needs to be more shallow than this side. However, you did have basically double bottom here, eh? Damn double bottoms all over the place, huh? Yeah. Um, yeah. See what it got in there. Went up eight and a half points. And there's divergence up here also. High and higher high. Okay. I like that. They did the same spike here, see? The stops were right up in here. And they came and they got the fucking stops. The gold. But anyway, it did go down for you. You would have got short right there. Stop would have been at the swing high, four points, let's say. Did we get the four points? Oh, my God. It's just there. It just, it just got it before they took it up and spiked out people's stops. They just got it. Okay, let's move on now to the Dow. Oh, look at the Dow. The Dow is much better. Oh, yeah. I should have been trading the Dow. Here's the double bottom, triple bottom, whatever. Here's the buy right here. Oh, hold on. I need to draw this line before I forget it. And yeah, it would have got long <coughs> in here somewhere. Went up 100 points. And what about the sell at the beginning when NVIDIA was crashing down? Hmm. Not really divergence there. No. That was an ugly mess up there. Here's that same action. See, is what we just saw in the S&P. See that? Oh, I can hear the wind whistling out there. Must be windy. Um, right here like this. And you would have put an arrow on that sucker in the UK session went up uh, 48 points this is the Dow stop at swing low is 21 points and that's it what did the pound dollar do oh fuck <laughs> had a beautiful trade in the UK session you probably got better luck trading the pound uh, the euro and pound yen and euro yen in the UK session than you do in the US session. But that always changes, as you know. Okay, so there's a buy right here. There's a sell trade here, too. <sighs> I'm tired now. That's going up. This one's going down. Which is hidden divergence. And down it goes. Went down 20. Down 30 points. Down to there. On the pound dollar. There's another trade right here. High and higher high. And it's sold off nicely. And you would have got short in there. And down it went. You definitely would have got your 1 to 1 or 2 to 1 win-loss ratio. 20 pips. Your stop was 8 pips. And then it turned into this shit show here. <laughs> chop, chop. Chop, chop, chop. Let's see. Let's get them buying up here, George. Do you think that'll work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's spike it. Let's spike the price up here. We'll get them all along. Yeah, and then, then we'll crash it back down again, and we'll get all their stops right under the wicks. Right here, right here. Yeah. Then we'll get them all selling down here, and we'll take it up, and they'll get, the, we'll get their stops right up here. Right up here. That's what's going on, man. You got some fucking clowns 
sitting in an office somewhere and moving the price where they want it to go. That's what I believe is happening. Yeah. That's what I think. As crazy as it, you know, it is for you to fathom it, uh, I don't believe it's volume moving it. It's someone with a control and moving it go up, down, up, down, come down, go back up. That's what I think is going on. Anyway, there was a trade here. Double top. Double top and the price is going to go down. This is pointing down. Price went down. Let's look at the euro now. Did the same chopping up here. Did the same trade here. See, they bought it off $1.08. The euro. USD. Uh... Yeah, right here, it danced off the dollar eight. And there was divergence. There was divergence there. There's also divergence here. There was divergence here. Call that bottoming price action. And right there like that, and you would have got long in here. Right in there you would have got long. Right in here you would have got short. Both of them winners. But we had one more trade, ladies and gents. Let me show ya. Let me show ya. It's right here. Hidden divergence, baby. Right there. And right here. Now let's buy this sucker right up to here. <laughs> So if you got in here, okay, 24 pips, 25 pips, 25 pips to the top. You see that up there? You got 27, the first, the 27 means the bars. It took 27 candles to get up there and the amount was 25 pips from the exact entry point, which was right there. And it worked. And, uh, yeah, that's it for that. I don't want to look any more into that chop slop. Chop slop! Pound Yen. Yes, Pound Yen had beautiful trades today. Definitely did. Okay. Oh, I see this now that I squished the chart. Look at that. I missed that trade. I was looking at this earlier. And there it is, right there. Well, no, that, that doesn't work. <laughs> no, that doesn't work. Scratch that. Scratch that sucker. Sorry about that. I thought it was over here. I was wrong. It's not divergence. My bad, my bad. <laughs> my bad. Uh, so she came crashing down and, yeah, you know. We had a couple of these. Higher close, sell it, down it goes. Hold on. Oh yeah, take the auto scroll off. Okay, what was I look yeah, there it is. See? Higher close right near the five, sell it, boom, down it goes. Then right here, close above, buy fake, buy fake, right? We got something for the buy fake. We'll fix you, buy fake. So that comes down. You would sell it right in here. Went sideways for a little bit. And then, boom, down it went. You would have made profit. Right from there, man. Right from there. Then, oh, no, no. I'm forgetting the trades here. I already marked these out on another chart. Okay. See what it got long right in there. Right there. Swing low, the stop was 16 points. Went up 19 points. Then we had high and higher highs. And yeah, we got short in there. And it went down 20 points. And we had a higher close, sell it, down it goes. 
Higher close, sell it down it goes. Over here we had a, uh, here I'll show you. This is another trade though here, eh? A eh? A? Eh? <laughs> Can you tell I'm fucking Canadian? <laughs> Funny. Yeah, we all have accents. Doesn't matter where we're from. Whether you're from India, Bangladesh, Pakistan, Canada, United States, Jamaica, Puerto Rico. We all got accents. We do. Okay. Hold on there, folks. Right here. Let's see here. I actually did this trade. It was good. It was good. It was good. Yeah. Oh, oh I just, just, just looking at the NASDAQ. Look at it. Finally, it's breaking out. Are you going to keep going or are you going to do like yesterday and sell it from this fucking thing right here? Yeah, you can really wonder what's it going to do. I don't know. Or is it going to keep going and go north to Toronto? I don't know. Where was I over here? Which fucking pair? Pound yen? Yeah, pound yen. Okay. So, buy it, successful. Sell it, successful. Buy it, very successful. Okay? So, let me just show you now. A couple. Lower close. Oh, no, there's just one. Lower close. Buy it, up it goes. And then over here... We have a fucking hookup right there, man. So when it rallied up, excuse me, when it rallied up here and this candle opened, that's where you would have bought it. And it went up 14 pips. This one, you bought it and it went up 20 pips. See how easy that is? You see, trying to do that on the fucking NASDAQ, it's not easy. Because the NASDAQ, it's always moving. It's always rolling up. If the if the market's slowly going up, it's rolling back, rolling back, rolling back, rolling back. You know what I mean. I told you all about this the other day. If it's going down, then I get a downtrend, then it rolls back up, rolls back up, rolls back up, rolls back, back, back up, all the fucking way down. Oh, that shit drives me crazy. And it doesn't give you your chance to get in where you're supposed to get in. That's what the point I'm trying to make. See, like right here, if this was the NASDAQ, you would have not got in right there to sell it down. Or right here. You probably would have got in down here somewhere. Because the price is always fucking moving fast. Moving fast, moving fast, Jack. Jack fast. Not Jack Frost. Jack fucking fast. <sighs> Calm down, Jason. Calm down. Sorry, I get pissed so pissed off. <laughs> I should just, I should just give up fucking trading those fucking stupid fucking things that just keep fucking doing crazy shit. Even though right now I'm long in the fucking thing, and I'm trying to get back my little losses I had today trading the fucking Nasdaq. But here, oh, I did great here on the fucking pound yen. Yeah, anyway, let's move on. Euro yen, same kind of thing, only different. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, there's one right here, see? Low and lower lows. Remember I told you, you can glance for just a few seconds and I can fucking find them. They're so easy to find, ladies and gents. Okay, buy right there. What do I see over here? Yeah, I see hidden divergence. That's what I see. It didn't really go anywhere, did it? Holy tamale. Uh, let's put some arrows on and see. So there was a trade. Swing low, 13 pips. Did we get 13? Got 15. Got it there. I don't know about here, though. I just don't know. I don't think so. 
Remember, you got to wait for the moving average to cross down, remember, right? So right here, so you would have sold it right here. Stop was 14 points. Did we get 14 points? No, nope, only six. See, didn't make that one. That one didn't make the grade. It didn't cut it, man. See, you probably would have got out with a loss on this one. And this one was good. Yeah, so there's a whole bunch of lower close, buy it up it goes, lower close, buy it up it goes. And here's one, uh, a hookup. Let me put that on there. Uh, where was that? Oh, right here. So you would have bought it here and up it goes. And that's it. Let's move on now to gold. What is gold doing? Oh, wrong fucking chart. Um, I think it was way over here, the setup. Yeah, it's right up, way over here. That was a trade you could have stayed for miles and miles and miles because the whites, <laughs> the five EMA, five EMA, holy geez, I'm starting to stumble again, sorry. The, five, the, the EMA five, the white dash line stayed above the seven all the way up. How many points is that? So you would have bought right there. 112. There you go. That's it for gold. Now let's take a look at oil. Oil. Oh. Had a nice buy, tra buy trade <laughs> right on the opening of the U.S. New York session on the 15 minute. Yeah, 15 looks better. Anyway, see all these wicks in here? That's bottoming action, man. That's telling you, hello. They're saying, hello, you motherfuckers. We're loading up right now. And we're not loading up on sell contracts. We're loading up on buy contracts. And sure enough, it went up. Way the fuck up. So your entry was right there before the spike. Right on the opening of the UK, uh, the... New York session. You had like two ticks draw down, if that. And it went up to the top $145. Oh, almost reached 80 bucks a barrel. See that up there? Aha. Uh -huh. And that's it, right? That's it. Oh, look. Look at fucking Bitcoin. <laughs> 61 fucking thousand dollars. For a fucking coin that I could have bought 2,000 of them. For a dollar each. But I didn't. I woulda. I coulda. I shoulda. But I fucking didn't. This was in March or May. One of those two months. Of 2011. My friend at the time kept bugging me. Come on. Let's, let's buy some. Let's buy some. He knew somebody that was mining them. Right off of his just everyday plain Jane computer. There was no... Super wee fucking, you know, machine that they're mining Bitcoin that they use now today. You got to go in the room with air earplugs in because it's whining the fuck right out. Yeah. Back in 2017, could have been right over here. See the spike right here? Yeah. Fuck, what a mistake that was. We could have had like 50 million each. 50 million dollars, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, it just gets me so sad when I fucking look at it. And just think, the people who bought it for a less than a fucking, like a fraction of a penny. Back in, in 2009. They bought it for like one-tenth of one penny. And it's worth 61,000 fucking dollars each now. Isn't that crazy? Oh, yeah, that's fucking crazy. 
Ah, was the, is the XRP still going? Oh, it's trying to go. It's trying to go. Go, 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 XRP, go. Can you tell I own some XRP? <laughs> oh, yeah, I do. All righty, then. Okay, so uh, that's it for today. If you're going to trade this afternoon, please trade cautiously. Don't overtrade, meaning don't put on too many lots, you know, or don't don't get in and out and in and out and in and out. You do that 10, 20 times, the next thing you know, you've lost a lot. Don't do that. It's the afternoon now. Go, go for a walk. I'm about to go for a walk. Anyway, if you like today's show, please hit the like button. I'd really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate that too. And uh, that's it for today. We'll see you tomorrow. Good luck and good trading.